With 56 liters capacity, this is the biggest bag that I have reviewed yet. But don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with how I pack stuff for almost 3 weeks. Hi, my name is Boris Mono, I'm a film editor based in Hamburg, Germany. And today I'm reviewing the Tule Crossover 56 Rolling Duffel. After reviewing a product, I evaluate all pros and cons to see which points might not have been mentioned in other reviews but might be interesting to know nonetheless. This is why everything shown in this video is just a fraction of all the numbers that result in the final score. The Tule Crossover is a sporty looking 56 liter rolling duffel for the traveling athlete or for anyone who appreciates a durable and heavy duty travel bag for longer trips. This bag is a well-constructed rolling duffel made out of water-resistant fabrics and has some nice yet durable detailing like this aluminum compression strap buckles. The so-called Thule V-tubing telescope handles are supposed to stabilize and negate any swaying and from my own experience so far I can say this actually helps a lot. Together with the big and very smooth rolling wheels, the bag moves quite well. The wheels profile feels like hard plastic, but I feel that a softer rubber surface would have been the better choice. In addition to rolling a bag, you can carry the bag with one of these three handles. The bag is split into two main compartments. One of those can be accessed either from the top or by using these main zippers and opening the bag in a clamshell fashion. The two compartments are separated by this mesh. It helps to organize the compartments, but does not prevent moisture, dirt or smell to get to the other side of the bag. A bag with a 56 liter size is intended for a longer trip, maybe 2-4 to four weeks depending on how you pack or travel of course. I.e. do you plan to wash on your trip or do you pack for every single day? So since everyone is packing differently, I'm not going to bore you with all the stuff that I can fit into the bag. But with my traveling and packing style, I was able to pack about two and a half weeks worth of stuff for a trip to a fairly warm destination. In this side I pack my clothes, which are rolled up and organized into packing cubes. And in this side I store my sneakers, electronics and toiletries, because this side of the bag is quite sturdy and protected. But keep in mind that the telescope handles protrude into this side of the bag, although this is the case for most rolling bags. The whole bottom of the bag is actually quite sturdy and protected. Speaking of protected, there's this crush-proof quick access pouch for ski goggles or sunglasses. This quick access pouch can be locked with a small loop to prevent pickpockets. But this is just a very basic way of protection and anyone can still open the pouch to get something out or maybe even worse, smuggle something into the pouch. Therefore I feel like this loop could have been either left out completely or this should have been two zippers with a way to use a lock like on the two main zippers. These main zippers can be locked, but there are two, so you will need to buy two locks of course. And although the zippers are tough and run quite smoothly, to me they feel a tad too small or rather a little bit too thin for a bag that holds such a big load. Further I think that a bag intended for snow type of travel should have had some kind of protection against rain or snow at least over the top zippers. To suspend the telescope handle you need to push one of these aluminium buttons. These have some sharp edges that aren't very comfortable to press. There's not much to criticize about this bag. It is well made with a solid rolling system. It has a lot of room for a longer trip. The only thing that I personally do not need is the second opening on the top of the bag because I just open up the bag completely to get to my stuff. And by having two openings, I just need to buy another lock. Further, I'm too scared of people messing with my bag. That is why I zip tied the quick access pouch. I just don't use it and that way I can easily see if someone messed with that part of the bag. I think this is a great and well made bag. If you're looking for a bag for longer trips or maybe you're even going for a ski or snowboarding trip, then I can recommend this bag. If you have any more questions, please comment below and if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss next videos. Thanks.